everybody, I'm Jenny. I'm super excited about today's video because I'm going to show you how you can make an Epson EcoTank printer into a sublimation printer. There are no syringes involved and this is one of the easiest methods that I have found. So I'll show you everything that you need and step by step on how to do it. So let's get started. Okay, first up, what you'll need for this. You'll need your Epson EcoTank printer. I'm using the EcoTank 2720. This runs about $200. I picked it because it wasn't as expensive as some of the other printers, but it seems to work really well for sublimation. You'll want to cover your work surface. I'm just using some craft paper because, again, I don't want ink to stain my table. You'll want some gloves. I just picked these up at Dollar Tree because it can get messy with the ink so you don't get your hands dirty. You'll want some bottles because we're going to transfer the ink that comes with your printer into other bottles. So you'll need four of them. I just picked these up at the Dollar Tree because you want to save your ink. Why waste it? And then you'll need sublimation ink. This is from Amazon. This is about $30. This is the Printer's Jack um, sublimation ink. Okay, let's open up this printer. There's the instructions. Here's the ink that it comes with. Power cord. Your printer will come with these ink bottles and you're going to want to save the ink in just an empty bottle. To do that, you just unscrew the top and then you gently twist this. You'll take your bottle and you'll dump your ink in. So each of these bottles actually are a different shape at the top. Let me show you. So can you see they're slightly different? So they can each only go to their respective tanks. Take your bottle and fill it up. Now with the empty bottle, you're going to take it and rinse it out. Okay, these are all dry now and empty. Make sure you keep the correct lid with that because each one is different. So you need to make sure you correct, do the correct lid. You can kind of see I have a little bit of ink left in the top. I couldn't get that all out. I'm not that worried about it. But again, here's these. All the lids are a little bit different. So make sure you have the right one with the right color. Now we're going to fill up and open these and put them in the matching bottle. Here it click. Put this one back on. 
There's like a little bit left I can hear, so I'll save that. Okay, so now these have been filled with the sublimation ink, and we're going to put it into the printer. Remember, do not turn your printer on. It should be off, it should not have the plug in, but you do the inks first. So, we're going to do black, match it with black. You don't want to squeeze the bottle, just going to put it on there and let it work its magic. and then it will automatically stop once it's full. And carefully take that off. Put the lid back on. And the next color. Close this. And we're doing yellow next. Okay, that one's done. That one's done. And cyan. Okay. Take that one. And now we plug in our printer. Lift this up. Okay, English. And then we're going to press and hold this button. Okay, now the printer is all set up. The ink is charged. I did my print alignments. Hopefully did that. It's connected to the computer. Let's do a couple of test prints and see how they look. Okay, so this is an image that I designed in Cricut Design Space. So it has a black box on it because it's supposed to be cut by the Cricut machine. I'm just going to cut it by hand. I don't need it to be cut out. And so I'm just um, cutting off the black lines because I don't want those to go onto my mug. Now that it's all cut off, I'm going to wrap it around my mug. 
I'm using a Cricut Infusible Ink blank mug, but you would have to use either a Cricut Infusible Ink mug or a sublimation mug because you can't just use a regular mug. The ink will not transfer. There's a special coating on those mugs that helps the ink to transfer. Once I've taped it onto my mug with some heat resistant tape, I'm wrapping it with butcher paper. This just protects the mug press so that it doesn't get any of the ink on the mug press. You'll just push it down, the machine will do the rest. And then once it's all done, the handle will not be hot. You can open it up, take your mug out, set it on a mat or something so that it can cool off. And then about 15 to 20 minutes later, you can reveal your design. So now it's time for the reveal. Just carefully pull away your heat resistant tape and it looks pretty awesome. Now I'm just testing another print. This is another one from Cricut Design Space, so it's gonna print out with that black box. I'm just gonna cut that out because I don't want the black on, on my onesie. I'm gonna try this on a Cricut Infusible Ink onesie. Again, you'll need to use either an Infusible Ink blank or a Sublimation blank. They have a high polyester count and that's what the ink transfers to. I use the Hick Cricut Heat Guide for Infusible Ink to figure out the temperature for my sublimation ink, and you can see it transferred really well. I hope you found this video helpful on how to convert your Epson EcoTank printer into a sublimation printer. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and I'll try to answer them. Thanks for watching!